Adrian, just reflect on the past hour, how great this event was, and just or it's culminated in you know knowing what the what happened this morning. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I guess it's been the past 12 hours, uh, waking up at 2:30 in the morning and watching uh, online for a couple of hours as the as the vote came in. Uh, super excited, uh, fantastic uh, for North American soccer. Uh, really excited about the opportunities it it, it provides for Seattle. Uh, we have work left to do to bring uh, bring the bid home, but um, with the support of uh, the mayor and Dow Constantine, the elected officials, uh, our fan base, the you know the 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 sponsor uh, uh, partners, the media, uh, you know, I, I'm highly confident um, that that we're gonna we're gonna bring a, a World Cup to Seattle, uh, and ultimately, it's you know the city of Seattle is a gem. You know, it's the jewel of the Northwest. Uh, it is uh, a spectacular place in all of North America, and I think that's gonna that's gonna mean a lot ultimately when a decision is made. And when that decision is made, and everything leading up to it, what does that mean for the club itself, knowing that we're in the middle of all of this? Yeah, you know, we've been talking for a while that uh, that a 2026 World Cup in in North America, and you know, for sure Seattle. Uh, would put wind at our backs for uh, for the next 10 years. Uh, you know, we're, we're halfway home. Uh, I think that the World Cup coming to, to the United States is going to continue to push uh, MLS and, and our club uh, as we grow over the next years uh, and, and improve the quality, renewed focus on uh, uh, youth systems and, and developing American players for that 2026 World Cup. Uh, and ultimately, if Seattle is named, then it's that just that much closer to home. Uh, and uh, and then we get to start dreaming about some of the legacy projects that we can work towards, uh, how we continue to build, uh, build our fan base uh, broader and deeper uh, and get them involved and, uh, and ultimately out to uh, World Cup games in 2026. How does this bid play into the club vision for 2026 and everything else that goes involved with that? Yeah, I, again, I think it. I think it just adds. Um, it adds uh, uh, wind at our backs. Um, our, our vision is to create moments, enrich lives, and unify through soccer. And uh, uh, there's nothing quite like coasting a, a World Cup to uh, to do that for for our entire community. Not only would this, you know, be a, a host candidate city, you know in our city, but it's also going to be in the stadium where we play our soccer. How does that, you know, compare to the other cities knowing that us as a club are going to have potentially our own venue be used, you know, in the World Cup? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really special. You know, it's uh, World Cups don't come around very often. You know, I'm a 52 year old guy. This could be, you know, I'll be 60 when the World Cup comes here. Uh, you know, this could be my last uh, World Cup in, in North America. Maybe, maybe not, but uh, uh, and so to be part of the Sounders my entire life, uh, to be involved with the club now, to uh, you know, to uh, go into the walk into that stadium, uh, watching Brazil play the United States, uh, knowing that uh, that the Sounders played the week before and will play the week after there. You know, it's it's really special. You just you just don't get those opportunities very often, and and you know the idea that our fans, um, my son, might get to participate in that is uh, it's uh, you know something that really you know touches me, makes me kind of emotional.